So no, Charlie D'Amelio was not the creator of Renegade. It was actually a girl named Julia. She was just doing Julia's dance, but she didn't credit her. And so people thought that she was the originator when she wasn't. And she never said that she was. It's just people assumed that. And so there's this pickle controversy. Anyways, Julia got the proper props. And all is good with the world. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey. Oh. So, Duncan collaborated with Charlie D'Amelio. If you don't know who she is, she's basically the queen of TikTok. If you don't know what TikTok is, so basically, Charlie got famous off of TikTok. It's a 16-year-old girl who has, like, over 80 million followers. She's, like, the cutest thing ever. And she always talks about her favorite drink that she orders at Dunkin'. It's, like, a customized drink. It's a medium cold brew with whole milk and caramel swirl. And so Dunkin' did something brilliant. They collaborated with this girl. And so now her drink is out. It's called The Charlie. So we're going to try it today. This drink is going to be a hit. I would wouldn't be surprised if their sales have gone up just today alone because I'm sure everyone's gonna want to try this drink. I mean, I never get Dunkin' Donuts, and here I am. So let's go ahead and order. Okay. So Charlie basically swears by this drink. She says that she's been drinking it for like three years now. And that's pretty amazing because I love coffee, but I can't even think of like a drink at Starbucks that I've ordered for that long. I like to switch it up. So we'll see what this is all about. I'm sweating. And of course, my camera's probably going to overheat in like three seconds. Hi, what can I get for you? So of course my camera died. I actually asked the person who took my order if they've sold a lot of it and she said they've only sold a couple. So that's pretty surprising. I thought that people will be all over it. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> this little girl's doing the TikTok dance, so cute. So here she is. I need a thumbnail. <gasps> oh my god, why is it spilling? I'm making a mess. Smells good. So I just got a small because I just want to try it. I'm not even sure if I'm going to like this. I've had so many drinks with caramel in it and... My favorite is a caramel macchiato, so if it tastes anything like that, then that would be awesome. <laughs> like I said, you guys, I don't think I've ever just ordered Dunkin' Donuts coffee. For the Dunkin' lovers out there, I'm really sorry. It's just that I don't have one really close to me. Like, this one was half an hour away. All the syrups at the bottom, so you just gotta swirl it a bit. But Dunkin' Donuts really needs to do something about their lids because... It keeps leaking. It's really just caramel syrup or caramel swirl is what's in it. And so I don't know if that's different than just plain old caramel syrup. Their small is only $3.14, which is pretty good because if you were to get this at like Starbucks or anywhere else, it's easily like a $5 drink. So hey, winning. All right, cheers. <gasps> Spilling. This is crazy. Look, look, you guys. Do you see that? Hmm. It's not that great. It's not bad, but there's nothing special about it. Honestly, I feel like I can make something like this at home if I just had the syrup. Like, if I close my eyes, had this drink, I would not know this was the Charlie drink. Like, there's nothing distinct about it. I feel like I've had things like this before. I guess I was expecting, like, a burst of caramel flavor, but I'm not really getting that from this drink. 
I think the portion sizes of everything is just right. Like I feel like if the coffee flavor was any stronger, it'd be way too strong. If there was any more milk, it would be too diluted. If there was any more caramel, it would just be way too sweet. It's missing something though. I just don't know exactly what it is. It's a nice everyday coffee drink. I'll give Dunkin' Donuts that. Like I can have this and not get tired of it. I don't know. It's just okay. If I had to rate this drink, I would give it a 5 out of 10. Again, it's not nasty, but it's not one of those things where I'm going to be like, take me to Dunkin' Donuts right now so I can have the Charlie drink. Like, this is not something that I'm going to crave after today. It's an okay drink. Ooh, you guys, I don't know if you've ever had condensed milk in your coffee, but it is really good. A little bit of condensed milk in here might turn it up a notch. Nonetheless, I'm really happy for this girl. Like, good shit, Charlie. I am so proud of you. I know that this girl has, like, so many haters out there, but they're just jealous, okay? Charlie, keep doing your thing. I don't know her personally, but just, like, from following her on social media... She seems incredibly humble. Where to next, you guys? I hope you guys enjoy this honest review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And keep it yummy. Mwah.